Hey guys, I've got the stakes lined up where, I don't know if you can see, I can't see the camera. All right, here's the first stake. So there's four panels. Each stake is four panels all the way to 20 panels. That's how big it's gonna be, by 12 feet high. I'm building an A-frame for now. Later, if I want, I can, uh, well, when I can afford, I can get treated lumber and put them up on uh, uprights like I have here. For today, I've got to get, I'm going to get four eight panels up in the air today and start, I hope, to get it done before peak sunlight and then start testing some of these solar panels. So I'm just going to get four up now and then I'm going to wire things up and uh, move on from there and see what time allows. Now here I've got a frame I'm starting. So uh, that's some scrap lumber from uh, roofing. Somebody did, was redoing a roof and I got it for free last year. So 12 feet, the panels are gonna start two feet off the ground and uh, that'll give them some protection and clearance. Two feet should be enough. That's the bottom of the panel right there. And then um, they're gonna hang off a foot or two off the top. So something like how those are there, you can see that. And that's working out fine for me just like that. So I, I uh, got to get my batteries going. I just picked up the dri driver and the batteries out. You might notice I'm doing it a little bit different this time. There's a raised lip here for this solar panel and a raised lip here for this solar panel. Now I'm going to put the center piece for this one. That one sort of has its off center piece there. And uh, that's pretty much it there. So uh, I'm going to put this one dead center for this guy. And, and I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to hinge it. I'm going to hinge it on legs. Uh, it's going to be an A-frame with a hinge so that I can adjust it and I'll weight it down or tie it down to the earth so it can't blow away in the wind. I've learned my lesson in New York. Melanie helped me get one up in the air. Now what I did, I couldn't handle the camera. This was awkward. This was horribly awkward. I drilled holes through. I don't have the bolts, but this is a hinge point, okay? So I have to go to town and get bolts. I hate to waste the time, because now we're at peak sunlight, peak solar. And this is my only day off that I'm gonna be here for peak solar. But anyway, I did the same here and I secured it with a screw as well. Cause I just had a piece of metal here for now. But it also shows me I need cross bracing, cause that's a bit wobbly. But there's one rack. Ugh, it's huge. That's one rack though, right there. Wow, and it's on a slope. The whole ground is sloped here, which is not optimum. So what I got is I'm gonna have an uh, arm going across here with pins in it, just like I have on that main rack, the, ma the main panels for the house. So I'm gonna have an arm across with pins. It'll be adjustable for the seasons. A hinge point up here, all adjustable, and good to go. And then I can put, once I get cross bracing in and stuff, the wobble, side to side wobble, I can get some solar panels up. And uh, I'm gonna start with two, 
and see what I can do. And then I can have a testing station for panels here. Once I get the, the, this thing shored up a bit, I can um, start seeing what panels produce what power. Alright, Melanie and I brought over two panels. Now, oddly, they're, uh, they're acting funny. I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna have to go in and look online. The, I pulled off one of the caps here. They're reading 11 volts if you go between the two wires. But up in here, I'll get 32, 33 volts in, in the middle. So I don't know why. I'm getting 11 volts here, 32 to 35 here, and nothing here. So I've got to go in and figure out, maybe some of these diodes are shorted. I'm not sure. But I'm getting the voltage up in there, just not coming out the wires. Not, uh, not here and here. So I've got to go online and figure what I'm looking at and fix these. Because I'm wondering if it's the diodes. Now these are soldered in, so I've got to figure this out. I'm thinking that they're putting out their full power, but it's just not getting out to the wires. I can't show you and hold the camera. Um, there's nothing to set the meter on. But they're both doing the same thing. The two I pulled off the, the top. And then I went over and measured the next one. It's doing the same thing. Um, 10, 11 volts out the wires. So there's something going on up in there. Um, it should definitely be producing its, its rated energy. Because I'm getting the 30 some odd volts up in here. I'm going to try to show you what I'm looking at. If I can get this to show up. If I can see what I'm looking at on the camera. Alright, if I take the meter, can you see the meter? I'm going to try to hold that up. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but if I put the meter on here to here, I'm getting 11 volts. Alright, and if I bring the negative in one, I'm getting 11.04. So here, 11.04. Here, 11.04. Here, 11.02. Now if I leave the negative here and I bring the positive, there's 11.04. 27. And 1.2. And dropping. So... Twenty four, twenty five, eleven oh two. So I've got to figure out there's nothing that's dead. That row is dead. Twenty five and eleven oh two, which is our full voltage. But there's something wrong here. I got a short or something going on here. Because I'm not getting full voltage from here to here. So I've got to go look this up and figure out what I need to fix. Because I think the voltage is all coming out there. I'm just not getting it out to the wires. Alright guys, measuring voltages. I'm about halfway through the pallet. I've got two good good ones and two that are reading 25, 26 volts. So I'm thinking one row is out on them. But these are good. Very good. So... We've got them sitting on the racks. I've got to go to town and get some mounting hardware. Some fender washers and screws and uh, and some uh, long bolts for the hinge points on these. But I'm just setting them on here to get an idea of what we got going on. Uh, figuring this stuff out. Fortunately it's not windy so I have time to play around. But there's two two good working ones. I do believe that these were not uh, broken in shipping back to the uh, manufacturer. I think rather they were broken a long 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 time ago and laid around because I think there's some uh, corrosion going on and uh, these weren't probably listed quite right because that corrosion would not have happened in a short period of time unless They've been sitting around for five more years after they were sitting, brought back. Because my, uh, my broken solar panel does not show any such corrosion. So all the panels are off the pallet. 
inserted by voltage. I've got three that are, are putting out their full rated voltage. I've got them leaning against a tree here for now. I've got six that are putting out 25 to 27 volts. So they're missing um, almost a third. They're missing uh, 11 volts, which is probably a third of these. So they're, uh, they're, not, they're, what am I trying to say? One string of cells isn't, isn't uh, connecting. Those two up there are putting about the same out. So I've got eight panels putting out two-thirds of the rated power at this time. Over here, three panels are perfect, full power. Over under the trailer awning, I've got six panels that put out only uh, 10, 11 volts. One has a hole burnt right through it which would be a sign of a failed diode. Um, if, the, if the diode fails, then the solar panel heats up and it'll burn right through like that did. So I'm thinking it's failed diodes. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So I've got six there, and then I've got three others in various states of, of damage from shipping. 